Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got our guest co host Kiki joining us today. Good morning. And let's get right in front page news. Teslin Figaro, good morning. Good morning, DJ NV. Good morning, Kiki and Charlemagne the God. Peace, hey. Tess. Let's jump right into a lot going on. You want to start with Rudy Giuliani? Yeah, let's start with Rudy Giuliani. Uh, I'm sure many of you saw that mug shot circulating the internet yesterday. It was actually several mug shots, but Rudy Giuliani, obviously him, him being the former New York mayor, stood out to many. Uh, we know that he was Donald Trump's lawyer and confidant. He turned himself in in jail on yesterday in Atlanta with charges that related to overturning the then President Trump's laws in 2020. Now, the former New York mayor was indicted last week along with Trump and 17 others. Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis said that they participated in the wide range of conspiracy to subvert the will of the people. So his bond was set for $150,000, uh, was only second to Trump's $200,000. Uh, they got some reaction from him coming out of a uh, jail. Let's listen. Do you regret attaching your name to the former president? <laughs> I am very, very honored uh, to be involved in this case because this case is a fight for our way of life. This, this, in, this indictment is a travesty. It's an attack on not just me, not just President Trump, not just the people in this indictment, some of whom I don't even know. This is an attack on the American people. If this could happen to me, who is probably the most prolific prosecutor, maybe in American history, and the most effective mayor for sure, it can happen to you. Uh, I wonder how much the Rudy Giuliani uh, mugshot t-shirt going to go for. <laughs> I think it'll do. I think it'll do well in New York. Like there's a lot of you know uh, New Yorkers who, who who love Mayor Giuliani, who feel like he was one of the best mayors ever. About twenty five bucks. Yeah, twenty five in New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. Plus yeah. shipping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Canal Street nine ninety nine. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can see that happening though. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. Absolutely. And, 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 and even if you're not a fan of Rudy Giuliani, if you're one of the people who you know went to went to jail or prison because of Rudy Giuliani, Ooh. you, you might, definitely have that. You shirt, might want to yeah. throw that mugshot T-shirt on. You mm -hmm. know. Just to say, hey, how I feel. That's right. Now, Donald Trump, what time does he have to turn himself in? Yeah, well, you know, she gave everybody uh, until noon uh, to turn themselves in. As of yesterday, this is about seven hours ago, nine uh, defendants have surrendered and 10 have not. So we should see quite a few mugshot suit going out today, including President Trump. And now we can say for sure, guys, that you think uh, she, President Trump will be taking that mugshot. You know, we wondered, uh, would she do that? And it looks like Fannie Willis. Uh, it's definitely the one that's that's going to make the former president stand in that line and, and pose for the camera. So we should start seeing that roll on out this afternoon. All those other people got to go before Trump. I'm sure Trump would like to go last, just for the theatrics of it all. You know? Because <laughs> that Trump mugshot t-shirt, I'm telling you, it's going to be, uh, Trump's campaign going to be selling it by tomorrow for $100 a pop. And y'all mm. going to be buying them, helping him with his legal fees. Yes. Mm. I guarantee it. It's going to happen. Mm. All right. Well, that is front page news. Now, I know next hour we're going to be talking about the Republican debate last night a lot. It was very spicy last night, huh? Very spicy. One thing Republicans do is keep it spicy. So, yeah, when we come back in the second hour, we're going to break all that down and have some highlights for you. Was Larry outside? Do we know? <laughs> we don't know where Larry is. Okay. <laughs> all right. Get it off your chest. Eight right on the stage. We know that for sure. 585 <laughs> If you need to vent, phone lines are wide open. Again, 800-585-1051. Phone lines are wide open. Let us know how you're feeling, how you woke up this morning, how your day was yesterday, all that good stuff. 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Then we got Kiki here, our special guest host. And let's get in some front page news. Teslin Figaro, good morning. Good morning, DJ NV. Good morning, Kiki and Charlemagne the Guy. Hey. Peace to Hood Whisperer, Teslin Figaro. Let's, let's yeah. talk about the spicy debate. Let's jump right into it. Man, I love it. It's one thing that I love about Republicans is the debate season. Uh, they go low, they go high, the jabs, the the all of the hilarious content that they gave us last night. But it actually was a really good uh, debate. I certainly enjoyed it. Uh, the first Republican debate again, 2024 presidential primary was held in Milwaukee. Now, eight candidates qualified for the spot on the stage. Governor Burgum, uh, former Governor Chris Christie, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former UN Ambassador and former Governor Nikki Haley, 
former Governor Hutchinson, former Vice President Mike Pence, and entrepreneur Vivek Ramasamy, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Missing from the event uh, was former President Trump, who declined to participate. He was, uh, they released an interview, a pre recorded interview that he did with Tucker Carlson, and we'll get a little bit of that audio in a moment. But let's just kind of talk about, you know, some of the highlights. Uh, let's check out Nikki Haley. Uh, when she uh, threw a jab at uh, Ramasamy about his foreign policy experience. Take a listen. In your future career on the boards of Lockheed and Raytheon. You know, I'm not on but the, the fact of the matter, and uh, and you know, Boeing you have came off of it, but you've been pushing this lie. This stage, you've been pushing this lie want, all week, Nikki. You want Nikki. to go and defund Israel? Just, you want to okay, let me address that. China? I'm glad you, you brought that up. Go give you I'm going to address Russia. each of those right now. You this is the false lies of a professional politician. There you have it. So you the reality make America is America less than you have no me, foreign policy experience and it shows. And you know what? You know what? You know, I, I thought uh, I thought Nikki Haley was super solid. She won the debate to me, and uh, Vivek was Vivek's Vivek, lack, Vivek, whatever Vivek's <laughs> lack, lack of experience was a point that uh, you know everybody, everybody kept bringing up. Yeah. But the reality is, uh, I think it worked for him. I think being able to get on that stage and say I'm not a politician, mm -hmm. you know, works for him in the eyes of some people, mm -hmm. not all, because you know a lot of us want an experienced candidate. Correct. Yeah, they they certainly saw him as a, a threat. You know, everybody was coming at him for the same thing uh, over and over. But, he, you know, he certainly had his own. You're right, you know, about that, Charlamagne. Definitely had his own. But I think Nikki Haley was certainly uh, strong. You know, she was all those things that they claim they don't like, aggressive and, you know, strong and, and making her point. And, and I think it, it really showed. Uh, he also, uh, Ramasamy also said that climate change was a hoax. Thought that was interesting. Let's listen to that. I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change oh, whoa, agenda whoa, whoa, whoa. is a That's hoax. Ridiculous. The climate change is agenda is a hoax. Is so the reality oh, is whoa. the anti-carbon agenda is the wet blanket on our economy. And so the reality is more people are dying of bad climate change policies than they are of actual climate uh, change. Governor, I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like chat GPT standing up here. The last person in one of these debates, Brett, who stood in the middle of the stage and said, what's a skinny guy with an odd last name doing up here was Barack Obama. And I'm afraid we're dealing with the same type of amateur standing on stage tonight. Yeah, that was Christie. Yeah, they shouldn't have booed uh, when Vivek said they were they were bought. They should have booed because he said climate change was a hoax. Right. right. Like, go outside, buddy. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like, like, okay. like, check the weather. He out his damn mind. Mm -hmm. and, and I thought Chris, Christie was super solid, too. You know, but uh, I think the reason Chris Christie and Nikki Haley came off so solid because they've been battle tested. Like, you know, they've, they've yep. been they've been governors. And I like the fact that they both said in different ways, it's just simply time for the Republican Party to move away from Donald Trump. What do you think of Pence? Yeah, they... I didn't. Mm. Uh, yeah, mm. Pence was, you know, he, he came out a little bit aggressive more than what I thought. I actually thought Chris Christie would have been more aggressive, actually. Uh, I, I was expecting a little bit more uh, from him. He wasn't as vocal as he always is, but certainly, you know, this he's he's definitely not new to this. So um, he certainly was strong, but I, I did want to see more. But Pence definitely came out to me as a little bit, you know, not having anything to lose. He took a lot of swings at uh, Ramasamy. I guess that's who he saw as his uh, biggest competitor. He saw just, you know, a, a lot of uh, spicy stuff going on. Now, at the same time, Donald Trump uh, released the interview that he had with Tucker Carlson. Let's listen to a few of those highlights. There, it started with protests against you, massive protests, right. organized protests by the left, and then it moved to impeachment twice, right. and now indictment. I mean, the next stage is, is violence. Is, are you worried that they're going to try and kill you? Why wouldn't they try and kill you, honestly? Uh, they're savage animals. They are people that are sick, really sick. So we got many more votes in 20 than we did in 16. But the election was rigged. It was a rigged election. But... And with COVID, they use COVID to cheat in a lot of different things, and we have so much on it. It's like so easy. A guy like Chris Christie, a guy left with a 8%, think of it, 8% approval rating in New Jersey. Now he's running for president, and he runs solely on the basis, oh, let's get Trump. Let's get, he's like a savage uh, uh, maniac. He's like a lunatic. You don't think he's going to make it to November of 20? Well, I, I think he's worse uh, mentally than he is physically, and physically he's not exactly uh, a triathlete. And I, I don't know what they're doing with the beach. You know, this beach is seeming to play a big role, but they love pictures of him on the beach. I think he looks terrible on the beach. 
Man. He's right. I mean, he's absolutely right. Chris Christie <laughs> does look terrible on the beach. I cannot sit here and act like Chris Christie Yo. probably does not look terrible. He's not trying on the to beach. be a sex symbol, though. Okay, it, it, but I'm, I, I I totally agree with him. But you know what? I I, I, I totally forgot that Trump was on with uh Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. Mm-hmm. I literally forgot. But that is a very interesting question that he asked Trump because I be thinking the same thing. Like, would someone try to kill Trump? Like, I've had those conversations with people behind the scenes because I don't feel like we'll ever see Trump in jail. Like, I don't think they would put a sitting president in jail. But so in my know. mind, I do be thinking they're going to try to off him. I yeah. do be thinking that. I can't say they act like I didn't. So that was a very interesting question from Tucker Carlson to ask that. But I, I wouldn't think that they would put Trump in a mugshot. So, you know, I Here don't know. I, I never think that. I, I never thought in a million years. Because even every time he's been arrested, quote, unquote, arrested, he was never in cuffs. He's, ne- he's never in cuffs. He's never had a mugshot. Yep. So the fact that they're doing now, I, I really don't know. I don't know if all of this is just for theater, though. Mm. Like, I don't know if they'll actually go through with putting a sitting president in jail, but they would off Come on. A, a former president. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I, 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 I thought that was a very interesting question from Tucker Carlson because I can't sit here and act like I haven't uh, thought that and had those conversations behind the scene. Mm. So all in all, who would you say? I would say uh, if you had to pick a winner, I would say uh, Nikki Haley won. Uh, mm-hmm. Ramasamy definitely held his own. He got most of the airtime, which he should receive a bump in that for sure. You know, was he the, definitely came to do what he what he went there to do. Was the Sanders there? Uh, the right, exactly. We haven't talked about the Sanders. Was he there at yeah, all? The Sanders I know he was truly there, but... underperformed. Yeah, Nikki Haley would definitely be uh, my number one. Um, Chris Christie would be my number two. You don't think Vivek got the most because press he, and huh? Vivek got the most press and, and people talking about him out of it? Because a lot of people didn't know who Vivek was until last night. Yeah, yeah. Vivek, 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 uh, Vivek, like I said, him constantly repeating he's not a politician and a lot of those people attacking him, mm-hmm. you know, helped, I think, you know. And he held, like, down. Like he, held him. he held himself down. He swung back. If they didn't attack him like that, I don't think we would be looking at him like, oh, you know, he might be a, a formidable threat mm-hmm. this morning. But being that they were attacking him so much, you know, yeah, he looks like a threat now, but... Yeah, I think Nikki Haley was my number one. Uh, Chris Christie was my number two. And if Chris Christie was my number one, Chris Christie would have looked like a before picture and (laughs) Nikki would have looked like an after picture for a diet commercial. (laughs) Shut up, man. That's not how it went. um, uh, Pence did ask uh, Ramasamy about his voting record as well. Uh, Why did he just start voting? But they didn't get a chance to answer that. Yeah, yeah, people were talking over him. Yeah, Yeah. I saw it. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, that is front page news. Thank you, Tez. I know it was a lot today. It was a lot today, but good stuff. And make sure you uh, subscribe to Teslin Figueroa's podcast, the Straight Shot No Chaser podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network and follow Teslin Figueroa at Teslin Figueroa on all social media platforms. All right. Now, when we come back, let's go to an OG in the game, Michael Bivens. You know Michael Bivens from New Edition, BBD. Uh, He founded Boys to Men, founded Another Bad Creation, and a host of others. And we're going to talk to him when we come back. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.